Hi, I'm Son Goku. You recognize me? Hey! Yo! Kami Ami! Okay, it's very static. But it can do many things. I can fly. I can walk. I can jump. I can fall. <laughs> And I can be very dangerous. Hi people, welcome to this new video and episode from Mazigan. Hope you're fine, hope you like Eurovision and hope you're ready to talk about the new entry of uh, Eurovision. It was Australia because uh, Australia decides, uh, has just decided, that it was uh, not Voyager, you know, this song, I was just, uh, I, I've just listened to this song uh, one time and I was so fan of it. That's why I made a video. I haven't listened to the other contestant, but it was just, you know, as a crush uh, for this song. And they just finished uh, second. So I'm just a little um, uh, disappointed by this. Honestly, uh, I thought it was a, a, a great contestant for uh, for Australia. But we have to, to talk about the, the one that has been uh, voted the, the the contestant from Australia is Sheldon Riley so the jury was very important it seems with the the, the ranking and the ne the number uh, of um, of points I don't know if the number of votes is you know is translated into some point and I'm I'm not it's you know it's not a percentage or a, rash, a ratio that is um, fair I think but that just my opinion so it's a jury vote more than a televote vote so we'll see uh, just before as always don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more video like this hey we go go to the Eurovision playlist also if you want so let's go on for Australia decides 2022 Sheldon Riley not the same Woo! Oh, got a mask. Found it hard to talk and speak my mind. They never like the things that I would like. Because you told to play, but you're not the same Not loud. as the other kids playing the same game. Try to jump on. It seems very involved in the way he's singing. Um, I feel some emotion also. A little uh, nut or a little crunchy, so maybe have to work on it for the Eurovision. It's a ballad. Maybe it's rising. Uh, so this kind of mask, you know, it reminds me um, Prince or uh, symbol, you know, uh, sexy motherfucker. This song, uh, when you get this kind of uh, of mask, and also Madonna, Erotica in the 90s, uh, it was very popular. This kind of mask. So I don't know if he's talking about the same thing as them. Uh, I'm not sure. It seems to be a um, emotional song for now. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the same. No, how oh, great voice. It was the chorus. Father asked me if today I was I said yes, I did, but that's a lie. There is smoke, uh, very much smoke and fog. It's a foggy atmosphere then, quite mysterious. It's quite dark. There is just uh, the light between the fa the big fan that is uh, behind. You know, it, it's if it, it was an, um, a poor cabaret uh, in a, a suburb in the US or in Australia. You know, I don't know, but it's quite, you know, um, uh, it's make me think about uh, old movie, uh, 90s movie of uh, American movie with this kind of big big fan behind, uh, I don't know, but whatever, um, uh, I like the voice, otherwise the timber, the timber is, is nice, and uh, yes, very powerful, very uh, much character on uh, during the, the the chorus, yes, it was rising, I think, uh, I feel something there, lucky tone, Sam Smith, Little vibe there. Sweet, sweet. 
<laughs> melody. Mm, I like it. Oh, okay. I, I see why he, he was um, maybe uh, chosen. Um, honestly, Bioshock was just impressive and much different. But uh, I, I feel the, the voice is really, really, really solid, strong. The timber is excellent. Um, Callum Scott or this kind of voice, you know, Duncan Lawrence also, uh, not in the same timber, of course, but um, this uh, emotional voices that can go from the low to the high and with the same kind of um, rendition and then I, I, I like it. So let's go on for... Um, so this song has been written by Sheldon Riley himself. It's a regular thing right now. Uh, every constant almost uh, or, talk, or just a part of the writing is a great thing. Cam Nas Naxon, Timmy Temple and the production is for Cam or Jam uh, Naxon also. Cam Jam Naxon. Okay, interesting. I, I think it's just uh, interesting how he is just uh, maybe behind this mask. Maybe he wants to hide him himself from the world. Uh, it's very dark. The, the the mood is the atmosphere is very dark for now. I'm not the same. No. I'm not the same. Camera angles wide like this. Excellent. Oh, we got a big dress, black dress. It seems it's the um, the break. Uh, I feel it's maybe the, it's lacking of um, air right now. It's just uh, delivering. It's it's very good at this, but uh, maybe some kind of little instrumental pause, you know, because it's just uh, voice, 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 and now it's just uh, louder and higher. Na, 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 na. It's. Uh, Tense, okay, but I think it, it's lacking f from some airy moment. Although there is a, a beautiful uh, a partition behind with the piano and also the strings or the the keyboard, the airy keyboard. It, I, I, I would prefer to to listen to it. It, it would be very nice. But uh, nevertheless, maybe after not the same. So let's go on for the lyrics. I was told at six year old that will. They will avoid me if my heart was cold. Found it hard to talk and speak my mind. They would never like the thing that I would like. Okay, it's a difference because you're told to play, but you're not the same as the other kids playing the same game. Try to jump on in, but they push away so far away. I'm not the same. No, I'm not the same. No, it's all about this kind of difference between uh, even as a child, you know that you're different and you're just not liking uh, what you should be like or something like this. Years go by, I tried and tried. My father asked if today I smiled. I said, yes, I did, but that was a lie. Oh, I always tell those lies. Okay, it's all about hiding something, uh, telling all lies, faking to, to be happy or to uh, to acknowledge something, you know, and um, okay, very lonely. Uh, just quite as uh, also in depression, depressive about what is, is just feeling something that uh, he shouldn't, sh he shouldn't feel, you know. And you run and hide, hide the break inside. You realize that the light shines bright through those oh who broke inside. Okay, you you just uh, broken inside. So maybe you're breaking breaking all the limits and the walls that you have inside you, and maybe you have to. Um, uh, to to spread your real identity, you know, I'm not the same. No, 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 I'm not the same, etc. Because you never want to be a kind of person. You can work it for those ones who cannot work it, okay? Because you've been the kind of person who felt this pain. Yeah, I felt this pain. You know, it's just saying that it is also um, uh, an example of this, and it, it can talk about this. So you're gonna leave the pain and find another way to make yourself another game, maybe one for all to play, 
because it's just not me who's not the same. We are not the same. I'm not the same. No, we are not the same. It's including many persons who want to federate uh, other person that feeling that are feeling uh, like him. So it seems is a song about uh, exclusion, uh, about the difference. The, the way you, you're just maybe excluded by your family or your relative because you're different. That I got some different sexuality, uh, uh, I suppose, with him because he's just dressed like this. And also maybe uh, a difference, uh, other kind of different that could be uh, also someone that is not um, <clears throat> able to, to think and to, uh, that is very afraid of everything, you know. So let's go on for the background of uh, Sheldon. Riley wrote the, wrote the lyrics in late 2K15, so very, very long time ago about his experiences growing up, including being diagnosed by, with Asperger syndrome at age of six. Wow living in public housing it's very oh and moving from home to home unaware of his sexuality among a deeply religious family wow poor boy i think it was quite difficult is talking about all this in this song i think it's a important song with the lyrics <laughs> Oh, ew, okay. It's throwing up the the mask. No, no. When I the same. Oh, is very no, touched by this. No. Vocary is on point. Okay, impressive vocally, uh, really, really. I think it's a strong contender for uh, uh, Eurovision vocally. I think the jury will uh, will give him some many points. Also, uh, the theme of the song with the lyrics of uh, all about you know uh, difference, exclusion, and something like this. It will be very uh, relevant for the jury. The televote it could be a little, but I think. Also, maybe um, it's very dark. Uh, Duncan Lawrence was very dark also, but I feel the uh, the melody of the song and the rise of the song was just uh, uh, unmatchable. Really, I think it was just one of the, the main assets of the song. This is not the case there. There is a great melody. Remind me really of Callum Scott's song, uh, really. Uh, but there is not this kind of rise and of gospel and uh, the the soul that was uh, in the Duncan Lawrence song. Nevertheless, it's a great song, uh, a great entry. So I will maybe I would have preferred Dreamer and uh, Voyager because I, I thought this was kind of different from this these vibes that we see uh, generally. Uh, but. It's a great decision also. I respect this decision because uh, vocally is so powerful. Maybe at the end uh, crying or something like this. He wants to also to... I, I understand, yes. He, he wants to to show this and this difficulty he had maybe to uh, open uh, him to the world and to leave his mask. I think it's uh, an important step in this song. And visually also it's working. Everyone is just... Wah! you know it's very very nice for this um it's intimist so maybe the stage is very nice for this uh, the camera angle are very top notch the wide are just excellent i feel um you know you can work a little about the uh, in the beginning about the voice to to delete all these little false uh notes and uh, it's not nothing almost but it will improve the song very much and also maybe in the set you can uh, add something but I'm not sure about this I feel it's um, a, a great entry a top 15 maybe um, otherwise the televote I think the other contestant and would get the televote because I remember uh, for France it was Bilal Hassani uh, it was different but it was also about self-acceptance uh, about uh, open your uh, your difference you know and it wasn't so well ranked so I feel maybe it could try a call with the intensity the vocal performance and the, the melody that is uh, really nice also. 
So that's one. I hope you like this reaction to the Eurovision 2022 entry from Australia. It's Sheldon Riley. Not the same. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to take care of you and of your relatives. You know it's important. You know really, really, really much important in this hard time. And don't forget to listen to every Eurovision song that you want in CD, in streaming, and in video, and especially Australian entry. And maybe this Sheldon Riley discography. I don't know him at all. So maybe Maybe there are, there are things to discover about him. I see you very soon. Take care. See you. Bye.